point of view, uh, I have to take my hat off to Carver. Outstanding team, defending state champions, and they play like that tonight. To my guys, hey, great job. We had a great season. Uh, this is not one of my better teams I bought down here, but we started the season off 0-3. Went back to the drawing board, and these guys bought into what we had to do, and we were able to get back to the uh, top 20. So I'm very pleased with my team, although I'm not pleased with uh, you know, not making it to the championship game. But I'm pleased with the effort and the work that these young men put in. And hey, we'll be back next year. Coach, y'all led the first three quarters of the game, but then in the fourth quarter, they kept it close and was able to take the lead. And y'all uh, switched leads probably three or four times. But what was it in that fourth quarter that was able to get them back in the game and, and y'all was able to lose? Well, uh, one thing I would say is that they had been here. Like I said, they were state champions last year. So they had the experience. And, and the guys, hey, I mean, they knew what, 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 what it took for them to win a state championship. This is our first time getting here with these guys. And, uh, you know, we might have been a little tight, uh, you know, two tentative, and, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, protect the lead rather than go out there and win the game. So I, I thought that was the major difference. Coach, um, man, I tell you, y'all shot very well in the second half, and I'm talking about critical threes, free throws and stuff. What you can you could say that y'all really was so close right then and there to get it done? Right, we were up. I think we were up by seven uh, in the fourth quarter, and, and like I said, I thought the guys got too conservative. Uh, they were looking at the clock, and, and as I said, uh, they were trying to hold on to win rather than go out there and win the game. But, but that's a natural for a young team. Uh, George Matthews, I have to take my hat off to him. Uh, he stepped up this year, became our point guard last year before. And uh, stepped in this year and took on the challenge of being a point guard, and I thought he done an outstanding job. Uh, I don't think he had any turnover tonight. Uh, made good decisions with the ball when the ball was in his hand. So I'm very pleased with him. He's just a junior; he'll be back. And this young man to my right over here, Justin Byrne. Uh, you know, this is just his what, second year playing basketball, and uh, you know, uh, still has a lot of work to do. But he put forth the effort. I thought he made some crucial free throws uh, at the end. Uh, to, to keep us in the game or for the lead. So these two young men will be back next year. So, I mean, everything looks good. Coach, is this the first time you was held 17 points in that? No, I wouldn't say that. I've been here so many times, I, I don't know. But, you know, we we do not get a chance to practice in an arena like this. And the depth perception uh, is really, you have to adjust to it. So that's why, if you notice in most of the games, the first half is lower scoring because the kids have to adjust to the depth perception. But I thought we did a good job of that in the second half. Yeah, seven, uh, 11 for 17 on threes and uh, 12 for 32 on twos. Yeah. But, you know, we've improved uh, this year. Like I said, we started off more than three, and these guys are working. We've been in the gym working, and each one of these guys, not only these two, but the other guys have worked hard to get us to this point. I'm very proud of this team, and uh, looking forward uh, to getting back in the gym and, uh, and, and hopefully we can get these guys back down here next year. To the players, um, your, your thoughts of the experience being in the top 28, especially in a game like this today, and what you, what you really gain out of this tonight? To the players. That's to the players. Okay. Oh, it's this is being this year. Um, cause last year I lost in the third round. This year I'm headed to the fourth round. So I'll be back next year. Yeah. You know, and I think that you know, this is my first time being in something like this. I ain't never played anything like this. So for me to do what I did, and we made it this far, cause last year we made it to the third round. Jordan said. And made it to the fourth so we made it farther. And next year, I know we're gonna win it. But show sure, you know, because we're gonna be back. And we're gonna put the extra extra work in to make sure we're gonna do way better than what we did this time. To the players, what would you say about Dallas resiliency throughout the season? Like like Coach said, start off 0 3, but just to get here. I mean, what would you say about that? I mean, I feel I feel good because I mean we, we were shaking at the beginning of the season when we weren't even supposed to get here, it looked like for us to shake back and come. But we didn't have our full team for not for us to shake back and come to this point. We should play slowly, but for surely. That's all I got to say. Coach, I know it was a critical last couple seconds that decision to make the switch and I know you was concerned about your player and everything else and everything. So it would so is everything all right with him, but not just that, you know, 
what I know the decision was a decision really tough for you. Well, the procedure, the precaution we were trying to take, the referee thought that he might have a minor concussion when he failed. So when he got up and fell back to the floor, as a coach, you know, uh, you know, I mean, you want to take extra precaution. So we didn't want to take a chance that he might have a minor concussion, so we took him out of the game and we put uh, and one of our next players. But I mean, that's a tough deal coming off the bench, cold in, in a tough situation and trying to make free throws. The young man gave it his best effort, and, and you know, you're not blaming, like I told the guys after the game, you're not blaming the one player or one player for winning or losing. It's a team effort. So we all have to pitch in to do our